Hey guys, Robocast Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to download mods in Stardew Valley. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. So quite obviously, step number one is to find the mod that you want to download. I'll link the place where you can find these mods in the description below. So the mod that I'm going to be using in this video is called Pet Replacements, and it pretty much just replaces the look of your pets with like other things. So for example, you can change the vanilla dog to look like a border collie, or a pug, or change your cat to look like a calico. Heck, you could even change your horses, I think. Yeah, you can, okay. Uh, but I will link this mod in the description below if any of you guys are interested in checking it out. Now once you find the mod that you want to download, just go ahead and download it to a good location. Now obviously, you don't want to like download it into the middle of your program files, it'd be like a really stupid thing to do. So just go ahead and put it on like your desktop or something, I find that to be the easiest. I went ahead and downloaded mine and I put it on my desktop right here, just in like a good location where I don't lose it. Once you have your mod saved, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing that you want to do is open up your mod, so let's go ahead and open it. And now once you open it, you'll see that there's an XNB file. Now if you don't see the XNB file and you see some folders and stuff, just go ahead and click around in the folders to find the XNB file, because the XNB file is the one that is actually the mod. Like, this is the mod itself, the XNB file. So what you want to do now is drag the XNB file to your desktop. So just go ahead and drag it to your desktop. It's pretty simple, even though I just actually failed at it somehow. Just copy it to your desktop, and now, as you can tell, I have the XNB file there. Once you have the file easily accessible on your desktop, go ahead and open up your libraries folder and you'll see everything that's on your computer. Now, most likely your Steam is in your C drive, but if not, you most likely know where it is and you know where to find it. Like for example, if you were to move it to a different drive, you probably know what you're doing and you probably know like how to get to it. So what you want to do now is access your Steam apps folder. So if you don't know how to do this, what you need to do is double click on your C drive, go down to program files times 86, which is right here, double click it, Go down to Steam, double click it, wherever that may be, where's Steam? Where's Steam? There it is. Double click it, uh, go down to Steam Apps, and now you're in the Steam Apps folder. Once you're in here, click on Common, and then go down to the game that you're looking for, which is Stardew Valley, obviously, and then click on the Content folder. Now that you're in this folder, you have to base the location based off of what mod you downloaded. So if you downloaded a character mod, it goes in the character folder, a building mod in the building folder, and an animal mod in the animal folder. So obviously right now I downloaded an animal mod. So depending on what you downloaded, pretty much creates the location that you're going in. I'm sorry for the lack of better words. So for example, right now I downloaded an animal mod. So if I want to go in the animal folder and I double click, you will see all the animals. Now the mod I downloaded was called dog.xnb. And as you can tell, there's a dog.xnb right here. So you basically want to look for the matching thing. So whatever mod you have, it's going to be replacing something that's already there. So since I have dog.xnb in here, and I have dog.xnb out here, what you need to do now is copy this one, and then replace the one that's in your animals folder. But before you do this, you actually might want to copy the one that's already in your folder, just in case you want to remove the mod. So just go ahead and copy the xnb file in your folder, and then like put it on a uh, different thing. So I want to just put it in my downloads for now, open a new window, and then make this bigger, and paste it in my downloads. So basically what I did is I kind of backed it up if I ever wanted to replace it with the vanilla one. So now go back to your desktop and copy the thing that you want to replace, and then put it in the folder where the old dog.xnb is. So just paste it in there, and as you can tell, it says, do you want to replace this? And say yes. So now, it replaced the, the old dog.xnb with the new dog.xnb, and that pretty much removed the vanilla dog and replaced it with the modded dog. So at this point, you're pretty much done. So if you were to load up your game and go into Stardew Valley, you would notice that the dog is replaced with the modded dog. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If this did help you out, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.